The tank in Ashes of Creation is one of the eight primary archetypes of the game, which combined with the additional archetypes allows for eight potential tank classes to play within the world of Vera. The first reveal of the tank in its Alpha 2 state is expected to be shown off at the end of the month in the developer's livestream, but there is already a ton of information out there on this archetype. As it was once one of the three playable classes in Alpha 1, back before the combat system got a major overhaul. In Ashes of Creation, like most MMOs, the tank's job is to control the fight, help take damage for the party, and control who's getting hit. But how this is done will depend on the tank you are playing. When going through this though, keep in mind that a lot of this information may change if it has not already, as Intrepid heads into Alpha 2 and gets even more feedback from players on this class. As I've said earlier, there are eight potential tanks in Ashes of Creation to play as, all being slightly different as they are augmented by your secondary class archetype choice. You have the Argent, which is the tank bard combo, the Guardian, which is the tank tank combo, the Keeper, which is the tank summoner class, the Knight, which is your tank fighter class, the Knight Shield, whom is the tank rogue combo, the Paladin, which is your tank cleric class, the Spell Shield, which is the tank mage, and the Warden, which is the tank ranger. Each of these class combinations will change up a bit how the tank plays in Ashes of Creation, giving you a wide variety of choices. For example, with the tank summoner combo, you should expect your summons to be a bit more tank-like and assist you on mitigating damage away from your party, compared to where a melee summoner will probably have more DPS-oriented summons. I'd even expect something like the tank ranger combo to give you more ranged abilities to play around with than say the tank cleric combo. We can expect that the biggest change from the alpha 1 tank though to alpha 2 will be active blocking. Ashes of Creation's combat system will give us a combination somewhere in the middle between tab targeting and action combat, allowing us to tab cycle through targets while performing attacks with our weapons, aiming shots, and raising our shields to block incoming damage with enemies. I imagine this will be a pretty crucial ability for the tank when it comes to active blocking particular abilities from the bosses that you are fighting. This is expected to be used with a stamina system along with features such as sprint, but it is something that Intrepid was still actively working on, deciding if and how they would implement it. The basic abilities that we know about so far for the tank are Javelin, which pulls an enemy to the target location, Lacerate, which pierces your enemy, dealing instant damage and causing them to bleed for an additional amount of damage over time, Myrmidon's Fury, which strikes your target and when doing so you gain a temporary buff that gives you a chance to counterattack each time you're struck. Onslaught, which charges your enemy dealing damage. Resounding Smash, which strikes in front of you along with dealing additional damage after a short delay to any targets that were initially struck. Shockwave, which strikes the ground with your weapon, dealing damage to enemies in front of you, along with leaving a fiery patch on the ground that continually does damage through its duration. Ultimate Defense, which has you become immune to damage for 3 seconds, and Weapon Toss, which throws your weapon at a target. All of these abilities, like all classes, are able to be updated through skill trees that reduce their cooldowns, increase damage, add knockdown effects, and much more. Most of the abilities I imagine will also generate threat as aggro will be a thing, and actually I believe the javelin in Alpha 1 had an upgrade that would allow it to generate threat when specced into. Along with this, there were a number of passive abilities in Alpha 1 as well that could be specced into the did things such as regenerate health, increase movement speed, reduce cooldowns, increase damage mitigation, and so on. Really nothing that stands out, just your basic passive abilities that you tend to expect in MMOs that you could see on the screen. Weapons in Ashes of Creation are not locked to specific classes, so when you choose to take on the tank role, you will not be forced to use a shield, but it will be a very good choice to take on, and I imagine whether you want to use it or not, it may become one of those things that your guild expects out of its tanks, especially with active blocking. I imagine that will make all the difference in this in the end, although all melee weapons will have the ability to active block in a sense as well, which will probably work more as a parry with things such as swords and staffs. What are your thoughts on the tank class in Ashes of Creation, and what are you hoping to see out of it? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you're new to Ashes and you've yet to create an account, feel free to use the referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Also, remember, end of January, we will be seeing the Alpha 2 tank reveal, so stay tuned for that as well, because that is going to be very exciting. We will finally get the Holy Trinity of classes for 
or Alpha 2 being damage heals and tank. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.